Hi, I'm Joe with Family Handyman. Today I have a simple project. We're gonna build an ottoman with storage using this plywood and this cushion. Let's get started. First up, I'm here at the table saw. I'm gonna cut out the parts for the box out of this Baltic birch plywood. I'm going to construct this box using a basic woodworking joint called a rabbit joint. So I swapped out my regular blade for a dado blade on the table saw. Let's get started on the rabbits. Draw lines on the sides a quarter inch in from each edge as a guide for nailing. Okay, I've got my parts all cut. It's time to assemble the box. You can see how the rabbit joint goes together. The front is going to fit right into the rabbit joint groove, just like that. Apply glue to the rabbit joint. Secure it together with inch and a quarter finish nails. If you need an extra hand, quick release clamps come in handy for this. All right, now I got the box assembled. It's time to cut the bottom. I waited to cut the bottom at this point because I need to measure the inside dimension. It's a good practice to dry fit these pieces together before you glue them. Perfect fit. Then I applied wood glue to the rabbit on the inside perimeter of the box. Fit the bottom into the box and secure it on all four sides with inch and a quarter finish nails along your nailing line. At this point in the project, you can fill all the nail holes with wood filler. Heading back to the table saw to cut the remainder of my parts, I got the lid, the lid stops, and the feet to cut. Next, I'm gonna attach the lid stops to the inside of the box, but first I need to draw a line three quarter inches down, and give me enough room for the lid and the cushion board is gonna sit below the top surface so the cushion fits flat right on the top. Attach the lid stops first to the front and back boards and then attach the two sides using wood glue and three quarter inch finish nails. To make the lid of this box, I'm gonna sandwich the bottom fabric between two boards and attach the two boards in each corner using T-nuts and flathead screws. That'll allow the cushion to sit flush on top. Start by laying the cushion board on top the lid and make marks in each corner an inch and a half in. Drill a quarter inch hole at each mark. Attach the T-nuts to the cushion board. Unzip the cushion and slip the cushion board inside the cushion, centering it. Zip the cushion back up and flip it over. Lay the lid on top the cushion and center it with the cushion board. Next, poke through the cushion fabric in all four holes using an awl or a nail. To make this box more pleasing to the touch, sand the whole box with 220 grit sandpaper and round over all the edges using a quarter inch round over bit. Next, I primed and painted the feet black. Then I rolled on some cabinet and trim paint to finish off the box. On the home stretch here on this project, next I'm gonna attach my feet. To make it easy on myself, I'm just gonna use some double face tape and then nail it from the inside. You can use screws as well. Okay, the last step of this project, I'm gonna attach the lid to the cushion, and then we're all set. All right, that's it, that wraps up this project. You know, the nice thing about this design, the top can double as a tray. Put your laptop on it, 
You can find these pillows at your local home store. Another nice thing about the design of this project is the storage aspect of it. For more great projects like this, visit us at FamilyHandyman.com.